Hey guys, what's going on? Josh from Trailheads here, and I'm super excited to bring you into my nearly completed studio setup. Uh, big thank you to my buddy Pete, who actually built up this cedar backdrop for me here. I had to take off mid-build to go out to a shoot, so he did most of it, which I'll show you in some B-roll coming up right now. So without further ado, I'd like to uh, introduce to you the Lytra Torch. So this little guy packs a ton of punch, and the reason why I actually picked it up was that it's so versatile. So a light like this uh, will work as a fill light if you're on a production set. Right now it's actually backlighting me, so I'm just holding the box right now, but it's a great little light packing 800 lumens if you need it. But let's get into what actually comes in the box. So some of the things that come in the box is the diffusion bulb that you can actually mount on the light. It comes with the light itself, obviously, as well as a silicone sleeve and a belt clip and I believe a USB charger. Uh, everything's on the side here. And a quarter 20 GoPro mount. So this actually works with the whole suite of GoPro accessories, which is what got me really excited about this light, that and its small form factor. But the fact that I have so many GoPro attachments and accessories that this light will work with, I just knew it would work really well in my production kit. So let's go check out a little more about the light. So the Lytra Torch has four different levels of light. The first level is 100 lumens and that lasts about four hours. So you can run this thing for quite a bit of time before you need to recharge it at level one. Level two I'd say is its sweet spot where you get quite a bit of light. Right now that's what it's set at to actually backlight me and that'll get you about 70 minutes of runtime. Level three is where you have to pick and choose a little more where you're gonna use it because it has the most output of light at 800 lumens, but it only gets you about 35 minutes of runtime. Now level four is just a separate setting. I haven't really figured out where I'm gonna use this much because it's just a strobe setting. And when that strobe goes off, it's 2200 lumens. So it's more than double the brightness of the full setting when it's on full continuous light. Um, Unless you're calling an SOS and you're lost in the woods, I'm not too sure where I'm gonna use that yet, but those are the, the settings on this light so far. So like I said, it's the size of a GoPro Hero session, which is just crazy. So it just fits in the session cage, and this is it. It is fully waterproof up to 10 meters or 30 feet if you're in the States. It is military grade aluminum, so you can drop it like a GoPro. You can put it through some serious abuse and it'll still work fine. So that's one of the other key features with this light is that if you're caught out in the rain or you wanna do some underwater photography or video with your GoPro, it works great. I believe they actually dubbed this light the ultimate action sports light. Um, I'll actually be using this on legitimate productions as well though because it just works that well. I believe in one of their promo videos, Lytra actually lights their entire interview setup with their lights and it looks incredible. Like it's so impressive at how small these are and how well they, uh, they can actually light up an interview if you shape it well. Now the other thing with this guy is that it will come with quarter 20 threads on the back of the light as well as on the bottom so that you can mount it straight to a light stand. But I think for the most part, I'll be leaving this within the GoPro Hero Session cage because you have so many mounting features. You can mount it on the Jaws Flex clamp, you can mount it on a helmet, you can mount it on the headlamp, you can put it on a gorilla pod. So you can really put this light anywhere with its small form factor and the fact that it has that GoPro accessory. So one of the other main reasons why I got this light is that I wanna start doing a little bit more uh, night trail riding on my mountain bike. One of my buddies has uh, some of the night lamps that you can throw on there, but they're a little bit too hot for a GoPro. So if you have more of an even spread light, then you can actually get a bit more of an even light to light your scene in front of you so that your GoPro will work a lot better so you're not just cooking the scene in front of you. 100. And 450, 800. It works actually if you're riding a bike at night, you can see what's ahead of you really easily. 
And if you uh, are rolling a GoPro, it can actually pick up a little bit of what's ahead on the trail without having to bump up the GoPro's ISO too much. Out of the box, this is a daylight balanced at 5600 Kelvin. So if you need to change that light a little bit or you need to match underwater lighting, you can do that by picking up the party pack of gels that Roscoe and Lytra have teamed up to sell you. So all in all, I highly recommend this light. I've been super happy to have this in my production kit, in my Camelback, and just ready to go to go on a night ride, to go on a hike, or just to add a little bit of extra light. Something I did forget to mention though, is that this light is also magnetic on the back, so you've also got a magnet. So if you're doing any car work, you can also just stick it to the hood of your car uh, as you're working on the inside, or if you're just refilling your windshield wiper fluid in the middle of the night, you just need a light that's got an even spread, this thing is a good, good bang for your buck. It's a hundred bucks Canadian, so I believe it's around 79 or 89 American. It's available all over the place. I picked mine up from Vistech because I really love the service that I get from those guys. So definitely check it out and it's the Lytra Torch. So I'll check you back on the next one. Nice and bright.